You know, I never realized how much influence growing up in the hills had on who I was as a person. It wasn't until after I had left and moved to Brookings that I realized that something was missing. Something that was a big part of me was missing. And it was getting to spend time out in the hills. It, I mean, it was my backyard growing up. Anytime I'm out in nature, especially when it comes to the mountains, I am just brought back to what matters. Everything kind of just falls away, and the true matters of life come to focus. And sitting in God's creation is great, but it's also something that you must share. Getting to experience creation, to explore, to travel, to be adventurous, to be spontaneous and just decide to go do something out in nature is best when you get someone to do it with. You ready for this? No. JK, yeah. Let's My head it. hurts, so hopefully I don't die. It's gonna be okay. And that's where Jack comes. You see, I first met Jacqueline in September of 2021. I had just started my first class at Kairos University, and she also happened to be in my class. Now, be it, this was a Zoom class, and she was in Ohio, and I was in Brookings. And throughout the next year, we never had any conversation outside of class, but we were almost always in each other's small group getting to talk about whatever the topic of class was that week. And we got to have some really cool conversations. And it was out of those conversations and out of almost a year of those conversations that I had the pipe dream of what if this girl was my wife? And then of course reality quickly set in and I was like, um, yeah, no, there is no way. But being that creating the most beautiful mountain ranges with only a breath is nothing too hard for God, well, I was quickly surprised. I actually got to meet Jacqueline in person at Green Lake in Wisconsin. And let me just tell you, how beautiful that place is. Uh, of all the students that were there, we all slept out in hammocks in the middle of the forest, right next to the lake, every night. It was great and it was also terrible, but we did it and we got to experience that together. And it was really cool. And it was from that moment that everything changed. That now that dream that I had of what if Jacqueline was my wife, slowly crept back in and slowly didn't seem as crazy. Now the entire time I am just in awe. My jaw is dragging down the trail behind me, and I'm loving every minute of it. And what makes it even better was that she got to be there with me. Uh, amidst all the nerves, all the thoughts, and whatever, I had so much peace being there. I wasn't worried about anything else. What only mattered was me, her, and what we got to experience with God and His creation. So I grabbed the ring, I walk over to Jacqueline, and then the dream 
becomes reality. months of dating, the 60 some days that we've actually gotten to spend together in person, it's worth it all. And for both of us, this means more than just marriage. This means more than just the promise that we're gonna get married. This is for us a dream coming true of getting to spend every day together. No longer having to worry about distance or time zones or FaceTime. Not having to check the latest flight prices or hotels or Airbnbs or whatever. This is us doing life together. This is us enjoying creation together. It's us exploring together. We're both really, really big dreamers. And so there's a lot ahead. Here. Log it up. I'm engaged. And Dylan did a really great job with the ring. And I cannot wait for forever because he's the sweetest, kindest, most genuine person I've ever met. And I never, ever thought I would get those lucky. So thank you, God. <laughs> In the moment when I asked the question, I was so nervous and <laughs> just so scared. I didn't say anything. I just asked the question and that was it. I meant to say something, totally did, but I didn't. So let me say it now. Jacqueline Ruth, I am so thankful for who you are, for who you've become in the eight months that I've gotten to know you. Thank you for who you've made me. I know that you have made me a better person better follower of Jesus, a better significant other. You have made me a better friend. You have given more than I ever could have asked. You're the best tattoo buddy, adventurer. You're the best coffee snob. You're the best addition to my family I can ever ask for. I can't wait for what is next. And I know and believe and trust in God that he's got some great things ahead. I love you, Jake.